Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to be making another pressure cooker instant pot recipe. I am going to be doing charro beans. This is a Mexican style cowboy bean recipe. It's kind of like a delicious bean soup. And if you are looking for a charro bean recipe for the stove top or maybe the crock pot, I got you covered. I will link those at the end of this video or below this video. So check in the description. Okay, charro beans in the instant pot coming up. To get started, I'm going to be using one pound of pinto beans. These are just cleaned and rinsed, but they are not pre-soaked. And this is one of the greatest things about Instant Pot beans. Next, I'm going to be using a half pound of thick sliced bacon that I've chopped and around four to six ounces of chorizo. It's just one chorizo link that I had in the fridge to use. I'm also going to be using some fresh ingredients. Here I have half of an onion or maybe a small onion chopped, one large jalapeno that I removed the veins and seeds from and chopped, two Roma tomatoes, and about three to five cloves of garlic that I chopped. I'm also going to be using just a handful bunch of roughly chopped cilantro. And I like to say that's optional because I do have people in my family that just do not like cilantro, but I do. Okay, so for the liquid part of this, I am going to use two tablespoons of tomato flavored chicken bouillon powder and six cups of water. You could use homemade or store-bought chicken broth in place of this and maybe add some extra fresh tomatoes. Okay, so now I'm going to set my instant pot to the saute setting and I am going to let that heat up. That takes about 30 seconds or so. Once everything is heated up, I'm going to start sauteing my bacon and chorizo. Now, if you are using bacon and chorizo maybe more than what my recipe calls for, and you notice that a lot of rendered fat collected at the bottom of your Instant Pot, then you might want to scoop some of that out. But I find with this amount and the brand of chorizo and bacon I'm using, it really doesn't render a lot of fat when I do this. And I'm not going for extra crispy bacon. I just want to start the saute process. Another thing I'd like to mention is Typically, I like to just use bacon in this recipe, but I did a recipe earlier this week and it did call for chorizo, so I had some left over to use. Okay, so after about three to four minutes of sauteing and breaking apart the chorizo and bacon, I'm going to add the fresh ingredients. Here I'm adding the jalapeno, the onion, tomato, and garlic, and I'm going to saute this for about another minute. By the way, if you want more spice in these beans, you can opt to use serrano peppers or just leave the seeds in the jalapeno. But I like the aromatic flavor of jalapeno, just not the overwhelming spice. So you will want to remove the seeds and the veins and give it a rinse before you chop it. That does help keep the beans on the milder side. Now I'm going to add my tomato flavored chicken powder base here. And like I stated earlier, if you do not want to use the chicken powder base, you can just use six cups of chicken broth and add extra tomatoes. But because I am using the bouillon powder, it does add salt to this. So if you do opt not to use it, then you'll have to add salt to taste to your beans. At this point, I'm going to turn off the saute setting. And now I'm going to add my beans, my fresh cilantro, and I'm going to add my water. Now that everything is in my pot, I am going to twist the lid closed, make sure it's closed properly, and you'll see the arrow indicating where closed is. Now I wanna make sure my valve is pointing towards sealing, not venting, but sealing. Now I'm going to manually set pressure cook to 45 minutes. And then once you set that, it should indicate that it's on, and now the cooking process has started. So after your beans are done cooking, the Instant Pot will beep, and I am going to go ahead and just shut it off, put it in the off setting by canceling it, and at this point, you'll want to let it naturally release the pressure. Basically, don't touch it, don't do an instant release, just leave your Instant Pot sitting on the counter for about 20 to 30 minutes. So by the venting button, there is a little small button 
that is the floating valve. And when it's up, that means there's lots of pressure in your Instant Pot. But when it goes back down, that's when it's safe to open. And just like that, you have a delicious pot of charro beans. And at this point, if you taste it, you can add salt to taste, depending on if you use the bouillon or your own chicken broth with extra tomato. But these are definitely delicious to save and freeze for later or serve alongside a family barbecue or a family meal. So I hope you guys give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.